start a fire and uh, it's cold and wet and we don't have a lot of kindling so we're just going to use some fire starters and I'm going to show you the different types of fire starters that I have. First, you can buy these at Walmart. These work good. They're little, um, they burn for a few minutes and they, they usually do a good job and they're, they're pretty cheap. If you uh, are crafty, you can make your own fire starters. These are made out of uh, makeup remover pads. You can get them like a hundred for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And you can dip them in uh, paraffin wax. You get the, the wax, uh, you put it in a pot and get it melted and just dip and cool and dip and cool and do it over. And these are stuck together. There's two stuck together, but that's fine. That's, that'll be even better. And uh, sometimes you can find these little fire starter uh, logs. These came with some firewood I bought one time. And these work good too. You just light the wrapper. It says do not unwrap light the wrapper and it works about the same as those and another really good one is if you save up your dryer lint and stick it in a bag then you put it in a paper egg crates cram it down in there and pour drip wax all over it these are excellent these burn for several minutes and they'll start a fire almost anywhere I think we'll use one of these today maybe probably have to try a couple times because uh, the firewood we have is not the best firewood we've ever bought okay this is the firewood we brought with us we're at Franklin Delano Roosevelt is that right Franklin Delano Roosevelt State Park yeah in Pine Mountain Georgia and uh, anyway this this firewood here we bought it for about $20 and this is about half of it we burned up the rest of it the other day and it's not the best it's seasoned, but it's not that well seasoned. Um, the best way to season firewood is to put it in the back of a pickup truck that has a black bed liner and leave it in there, park it in the desert, and leave it in the, in the truck for about a year. And then it'll be nice and crispy and it'll burn. You can just look at it and it'll start, you know, if, if, you, if you hold it out in the sun, boof, it, it'll, it'll catch fire. But this <laughs> takes its time, it takes its sweet time to start. And I found a piece that smells like fat lighter. And um, again, the, the woods are completely soaking wet. There's no kindling out here to really start a fire with. And um, they got tons of leaves, but it, they're just, they're, they're soaked in water, so I'm not going to use them. <clears throat> uh, here's a piece of bark. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. Alright. I got um, my fire pit here, and I got my my egg carton dryer lint, and this is gonna light pretty quick. All right, put it down in the bottom. Normally, I put some smaller sticks and whatnot under it, around it to catch fire, but we don't have that today, so we're gonna try to start it. And this this smells. And that, especially that stick right there, it smells like fat lighter. So we're gonna prop them up on top of another log so that you got some air space under it. You wanna get some air, an air pocket under the wood and have some cracks for the air to get in there. And uh, just see what happens. Sometimes it'll catch, sometimes it won't. Again, this is not the ideal uh, type of firewood. And another thing is once you get your fire started, if you have some wet wood like left over from another fire, you can, uh, if you have one of these things right here, <coughs> you can let it down and dry your wood out on top of it, or sometimes it'll just catch on fire up here. And uh, you can use this wood. Now the thing about a fire is it doesn't really give you any heat until you get some burnt coals in the bottom until you go through one set of wood one a few sticks of wood and you got burning hot red coals in the bottom that's when the heat really comes out and when you got the burning coals <coughs> it's really easy to to keep the fire going if you if it goes out all you do is kick it around move it around and it'll flame back up but uh, this wood is very smoky and I uh, say so you got to watch out which side of the fire you stand on
<laughs> this is how you start a campfire. Fire's going pretty good. It's starting to char up the wood real good. <clears throat> and I ain't gonna lie, I had to put two or three more fire starters down at the bottom to jump start it because this wood is not the best. And down here you can see that um, that log in the bottom is hissing. It's got a lot of moisture that is being put, that's being uh, pushed out the ends. But uh, it's going pretty good and it's putting out a little bit of heat now. And that's how you build a campfire. Yeah. Alright, this fire's been going for about an hour now. And uh, lots of coals down in there. It's starting to get hot. And it's actually a warm fire. And uh, this fire can, if it, even if it goes out, I can start it back up by just poking another stick around in there. And, and it'll, it'll flame back up. But that's how you, that's how you can start a campfire. Mm-hmm. <laughs>